Why is always the Korean version of something? BTS are original. They are not a version of anybody else. Hello, welcome. Well, welcome back to my channel. One of my subscribers suggests that I check out some video by Bora City Magazine. And that's what I'm going to do today. So let's go. So Bora CD seems to have a number of videos and what do I want to watch today? And if you have not done so, go ahead and give Bora CD a like and subscribe because I do see they do have a number of very interesting videos. I'm going to do BTS versus Boy Band. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to see that. Okay, let's go. Turn on CC. Okay, CC. It's, it's not on. very clear in which moment exactly BTS exploded in the US. I seriously forgot what I gotta say. Uh... <laughs> because their success is more the result of an increasing growth rather than a hit song or a band. Mm -hmm. However, since their first appearance on an American award show at the 2017 BBMAs and their US TV debut at the 2017 AMAs, it was clear that they became the biggest boy band in America and in the world. However, this was seen as a fluke. Many believe that since One Direction did not exist anymore, they- Okay, not to throw shade in One Direction, but I was never a boy band fan and one direction never appealed to me for whatever reason same thing as backstreet boys and sync all the way to maybe jackson 5 i don't know i'm dating myself but no boy band has never have any appeal to me so comparing bts to um, okay let's move on the industry needed a new boy band just like them to replace them. Replace. History showed that it had always been this way. BTS was just a random group that became the most popular only because there were no other options available, right? Wait a second, didn't they... I think there's something called... I, I don't know, there's some boy bands out there, I'm sure. While BTS was, being, was popular in the US or in the West, I'm sure there are the boy bands out there. And if they're not that famous, I'm sorry, but go back a little bit. That became the most popular only because there were no other options available, right? Nope. The Western music industry had several attempts to create their next big boy band. The Miami-based boy band CNCO debuted the same. CNCO, I'm sorry, I've never heard of you. I apologize. Month, One Direction announced their hiatus, and they were also formed like them in a TV music competition. Although they tried gaining a Latin American audience first, which by the way, they succeeded at that, the group eventually had eyes on an American audience. Reason why they did many interviews in American media and released versions of their songs featuring in Oh, you said Latin American band trying to bring into the US? I'm oh, okay. Did I miss that? Sorry. In month, One Direction announced their hiatus, and they were also formed like them in a TV music competition. Okay. Although they tried gaining a Latin American okay. audience first, which by the way, they succeeded at that, the group eventually had eyes on an American audience. Reason why they did many interviews in American media and released versions of their songs featuring English-speaking artists such as Little Mix and Megan Trainer. Even though CNCO had a couple of hits in Latin America, they couldn't break into the American music industry. Forever in Your Mind was another boy band form in a TV music. Forever in Your Mind? I apologize, I never heard of you also. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. It's a competition that tried to fill the empty boy band space. Actually, it was the same competition which formed One Direction, The X Factor, X but this Factor. time in its American version. Even Disney put money on them and signed them to their label. Their promotion included appearances as guest actors on Disney shows, releases of Disney songs medleys, and playing their songs on Radio Disney and they do like high school boys, so I guess they should be popular. Should be. 
and their music videos on the Disney Channel. Despite all of this, the group saw almost no success in the industry. The British trio New Hope Club was also formed at the end of 2015 by a new label created by the group The Bumps. Simon Cowell, who formed One Direction, formed the American-Canadian boy band pretty much in 2016, without much success as well. The American boy band Why Don't We was also formed in 2016, but when Atlantic Records decided to sign them in 2017, it was too late. BTS had already stepped foot in America. I have not heard of any of these so-called boy bands. Oh my goodness. And yeah, it is too late. If uh, BTS is already here, and then there's no way you're going to match. I'm sorry. There were clearly many attempts to fill the space of the biggest boy band in the world, but none of them could fill the title. There were many, many options, and the public chose BTS, an Asian group from South Korea who didn't sing in English and who was not signed by an American label. And why? While these labels intensely debuted their boy bands from the beginning of 2016 to the end of 2017, BTS took this couple of years to continue growing little by little in the Western music industry. However, because the many failed attempts didn't reach the general public, the Western music industry was still thinking that BTS' success in America was a fluke. And if new boy bands cannot compete against them, then the comeback of all boy bands definitely can. This is why when BTS started receiving all the American awards for the group categories, there was a wave of dead boy bands coming back. The Jonas Brothers. Okay, now I have heard of Jan uh, Jonas Brothers, but I did not consider them as a boy band because they were. Was that two? Me shows how little I know of them. I've heard of Jonas Brothers. Are they two or three? Three? I guess they are considered boy band if it's three. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Everyone's coming back, yes. The Jonas Brothers reunited on March of 2019. But they did not last, right? They, they united, and they come up with a couple of songs, and they are no longer together again. After a six-year breakup, their comeback song, Sucker, became the biggest song of their career as a group, debuting at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. The promotion for this song was huge. The brothers had interviews with many radio and TV stations. They appeared every day on The Lately Show with James Corden from March 4th to March 7th. But most importantly, the song was played so much on radio that it became the yes. number one song on US radio at the moment. Yes, that's, one, that's the only reason I know of Jonas Brother was the song because it was in my head, in my ears, day in, day out as I drive. At that time, we were still going to work, right? So it was before pandemic, if I recall 2019, right? So we were still driving to work and the, it was it was played in, on the radio. I want to say that it kind of like repeated every 30 minutes and I hear the song over and over and over and over again. It looked like they were going to take the crown for the biggest boy band like back in their day, but only two months after their comeback, BTS released Boy With Love. And the Jonas Brothers popularity was shadow. The industry didn't quit though. The Chicago Tribune even released an article predicting BTS's downfall because the Jonas Brothers are back. <laughs> yeah, let's show them how it is really done. Okay, yeah, try. And just in time to show the BTSs of the world how it's really done. The prediction failed completely. Because of Sucker and Boy With Love, 
both groups were rightfully nominated for the Best Group and Group of the Year categories at the Kid Choice Awards, the MTV Europe Music Awards, the MTV Video Music Awards, the American Music Awards, and the Billboard Music Awards. Additionally, both music videos were nominated at the IHA Radio Music Awards. BTS won five of the six categories where the Jonas Brothers were also nominated. The same thing happened the next year, only that this time, the Jonas Brothers received less nominations than in their comeback year. This is because even though their comeback song was big, their next big single didn't get far. It couldn't even get to number one on iTunes because of BTS's surprise release of Black Swan. The nostalgia was gone. Compared to the Jonas Brothers, the many other comebacks that will follow seem extremely small. The British boy band JLS announced a comeback in 2019, reuniting JLS. I've never heard of them to start with, so let alone their comeback. Okay. Why is this a six years? Really small. The British boy band JLS announced a comeback in 2019, reuniting after a six year split. By 2020, the group signed a record deal with BMG, and they released their comeback album in 2021, which peaked at number four in UK charts. In 2021, the American boy band Big Tam Rush announced that if one of their posts gets 500,000 likes, they will come back. They have not reached that number of likes till this day, but they had a comeback anyways, breaking their 8-year hiatus. Their comeback song made no appearances on charts, but it peaked at number 10 on US iTunes, while their second single peaked at 32. They wanted another comeback in 2021, after a 7-year hiatus. Oh my goodness. ...with a new single, a greatest hits album, and a tour. And most recently, British boy band Union J announced the comeback of the group... Okay. Band ...and people criticize BTS looking like girls. What's this? It's okay for a Caucasian band to look like this? I'm sure, I'm sure he put on makeup, I can tell by his face. And he wore earrings, he looks very feminine not so in this shade to him he's he's gorgeous he, he's good looking okay but i'm just saying that why is people attacking bts for wearing makeup and wearing earrings and looking a bit feminine well it's okay for caucasian yeah so why Union J announced the comeback of the group in 2022 with its original members after many replacements and disbandments. Of course, not all of these groups intended to surpass BTS, like The Wanted, for example, who were just trying to reunite with their fans and donate to charities okay. in honor of their member Tom Parker, who got diagnosed with cancer and sadly passed away recently. However, in some other cases, the skepticism and blatant jealousy was clear. Not only jealousy that they did not become the most popular boy band, but jealousy that an Asian group were the ones winning that title. These groups, their labels, and the Western music industry believe that even though BTS is bigger than these groups ever were, the world needs a proper boy band. And by proper boy band, they mean a white boy band. So whoever designated that a boy band has to be white? Why is that? Because they can't lose. They, you know, they're just too proud. It's the ego. If you call a boy band, it's a boy band. If the band's made of male, it's a boy band. Even though I don't like the word boy band. But yeah, unless you call that white boy band, then that's fine. Then you are limiting just Caucasians. But if it's boy band, it's all races, okay? I feel like that's like a different, like the they hell? belong in a different genre. Forever in your mind. Yeah, it was mentioned before. Or on their own, because I feel like there still needs to be like a European or an American boy. And this is the reason that you are not number one, because you are close minded. And this is the reason I didn't know you. Band to be at the top. I, I can't, I can't get behind it. I don't understand what they're saying. You don't, because you're stupid. You don't know what they're saying. There's something called translation. You can go Google and translate. Okay, come on. A lot of people in the other part of the world, not in the UK, they don't speak English. Do they say, oh, I don't like them because I don't understand the word that they're saying. No, I think people these days have access to internet. 
we are able to find translations if the song appeals to them. Unfortunately, maybe if your song's not appealing to people, people don't want to translate. That's a different story. I got and it. I, got I just, it. I, I can't go to a concert and not understand a word I'm listening. Another boy band that probably sings in American has to exist alongside them. The I, girls are singing in Korean. <laughs> and I don't. And you are jealous. I don't even know if they know what they're singing, but they're doing it. They do. We as K pop fans, if we like a song, we will find out the meaning of the lyrics. We don't randomly spit out sounds for no reason. You might be that shallow. We are not. Piss me off. The girls are singing in Korean. <laughs> and I don't even know if they know what they're singing, but they're doing it. Do you think there's room for Jealous. all these boy bands that are out now to succeed? I think what will happen is one will become... I mean, it, it could be BTS. us. It could be, it could be any of them. <laughs> Do you think BTS's success in America? Because when no, they, when they, they're not being played on the radio, play is like because it's not American. One of the most boy band fangirls probably I would say majority of them aren't over One Direction yet. Like I think there needs to be an American boy band, and whether it happens in this year or the next five years, whenever it happens, it's gonna happen, and they're gonna live and coincide with BTS because it's two different things. So I, are you saying in two three years from now you think BTS is gonna be massive in America like they are currently? If like, they we'll make we'll American see, lyrics, it's a, it's a, it's why? Why is American lyrics so important? <sighs> oh, they will get play if like Selena Gomez called them up and say, I want to do a song. No, we don't need American artists to collab, to be on the chart. We can do this on ourselves, on our own. It is the other artists wants to be on our song so they can be lifted so they can say oh one of my songs hit the chart even though it was bts who's lifting it it's my personal opinion of course they'll get it played is. if like yeah. selena gomez called them up and said i want to do a song with you i'll sing american in the verses yeah. and i just want you to sing the chorus in korean that that that'll get played big. on the radio that mm -hmm. would but be it's not because big. BTS is on it. It's because Selena Gomez is singing American on it. Would, you guys think you're the ones to take BTS to the next level? <laughs> no, I, I'm down. I mean, I do it. Do it. That's the this group tried for only two years, and because they didn't get immediate results, they quit. They haven't released music since 2018, but just like Victim Rush, they asked for a number of likes to come back and didn't reach the. They have to ask for like. Maybe I should do that. I should ask for a like on my video so I can get more subscribers. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Okay? I'm asking. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm gonna say I have to ask for likes. Oh my god. And BTS and Big Hit and the K-pop world. Not just BTS. In K-pop in general. You don't need to ask. We do it. Oh, <laughs> not even close. The racism did not only come from white boy bands. Many of us would think that a Latin American boy band that sings in Spanish would at yeah, least understand the struggles of being a foreign artist in America. But that was not the case with this group. Han visto los coreanos, BTS. Yeah, BTS. Yeah, yeah, BTS. BTS. Yeah, yeah. Yo digo que ellos son como la versión de CNCO, pero en, en coreano. What? Why is always the Korean version of something? BTS are original. They are not a version of anybody else. They wish. You wish. You wish you were Asian so you can be BTS. <gasps> <laughs> you should be honored to be even mentioned alongside with BTS. My goodness. Si nos gusta mucho lo que hace. Nos gusta mucho lo que hace. Las letras son lindísimas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Excuse my language, but f you. F the heck you. ¿Cómo sonaría? Súbeme la. ¿Cómo sonaría? En coreano, en coreano, a ver. <laughs> no wonder they are not successful. No wonder they are a flop. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm so.
upset right now. A ver, en coreano, mamita en coreano. I have a pen, I have an apple. That's Japanese. Things like this not only say a lot about racism and xenophobia in America, but also show that even though BTS are number one and armies are seen by many as scary, the industry does not respect them, not even enough to pretend they do. When One Direction became the most popular boy band, other groups did not try so hard to compete against them. One Direction was not seen as a fluke. Their success was seen as natural and realistic. But when BTS sees an organic growth in popularity, the industry tries to deny it, cries about it, and fails to defeat them. We are launching X Factor, the band. We're going to try and find either the biggest boy group in the world or the biggest girl group in the world. We've done it before. We're going to do it again. Right now, K-pop, you could argue, is ruling the world. Now, it's time for you, K-pop. In the <laughs> good luck. Case of the debuts, the new groups just followed the same formula from the previous big boy band, which would have worked in other times, but not in an industry that now has BTS. Mm -hmm. Now we have seen BTS, we have seen K-pop, we have a taste of it, you know, the complete package. The song, the music, the beat, the visual, the dance, the stories, the personalities. Once we have taste of that, we cannot go back to the boring regular boy band, you know. I'm glad that you play guitar and all that stuff, but you're boring. They really thought that the next big thing was going to be a western boy band that does not have any spectacular talent and if they do, they don't show it until they disband and start their solo careers. The industry focused too much on debuting groups that have the One Direction typical sound with guys that seem relatable. They had the budget, but there was no art, no fashion, no new sound, no big performances, no passion, and no effort. The old boy bands at least tried to deliver the performance aspect, but they couldn't compete against BTS's experience of almost nine years being fully active in the music industry as a group. BTS was able to become the biggest Korean act with limited resources then transcend the K-pop label, then become the most popular group in the world, and now be one of the biggest acts in the industry, competing with the biggest male and female soloists. And who knows, there may be more boy band comebacks, but as Liam Payne from One Direction said, BTS are more focused on their careers than One Direction and these other groups ever were. They can keep trying, but as BTS grows in popularity, it gets harder and harder for mediocre white boy bands to be celebrated in the industry. Fact. You have to be passionate with what you do. Instead of just thinking about, oh, I'm going to get famous, I'm going to get money, I'm going to get the girls. You need to think about, is this something that you really enjoy? Is this your passion? I think for BTS, that is their passion. That's what they really love to do. They love to create music, they love to be on stage, they love to interact with the fans. If you don't have that in you, and the only thing you think about is to is the money aspect of it, you're not going to be, you're, you're not going to last long. So, that was quite a roller coaster for me. <sighs> I got so upset in the middle of the video, and I apologize for my language, I use some f-bomb here and there but i was really pissed and i think i make enough comment during the video but seriously right you know not to throw shade at the other boy band or white boy band and boy band is a very special segment of the industry 
that tend to attract younger girls, right? So when I was growing up, unfortunately, I I liked Michael Jackson. I like you know Motown music. You know, I like Teddy Pendergrass, Prince. What artists you unfortunately know is Prince, but I was never really into boy band. I don't know whether there was any boy band. Maybe Duran Duran or what they consider boy band. I don't know, but I was never a boy band person until BTS. Then you know, then a lot of things changed since then. But it's okay to try to compare to BTS. It's okay to try to compete with BTS, but it is not okay to disrespect and disregard their hard work and their talent. So I'm glad that I found this. Um, no, I found. I'm glad that my subscribers um recommended this channel, and I do see a number of video that look very interesting, and I will continue to react to the ones I want to react to. I might watch some on my own time, but we'll see how that goes. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.